Okay, let's talk about what creation tells us about about God. The Bible says that creation displays the glory of God. You can see that in Psalm 19. So creation's like a living billboard that points us to God. Now theologians call this idea general revelation. That means that creation reveals the true nature of God to us, whether we've ever read the Bible or not. There's a lot we can learn about God just by simply observing creation. In fact, Paul wrote in Romans 1, he said, For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and the sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature, so they have no excuse for not knowing God. So what are some of those invisible qualities that we learn about God through creation? Well, here are just a few examples. First, God's power. We see the power of God revealed over all creation. We see it in the force of the ocean waves during a storm that destroy anything in their path. And we see this power in avalanches, tornadoes, earthquakes. This points us to the power of God, the God who created all things. And the second thing is God's glory. You know, glory is one of those words that talks about just the the nature of God, who God actually is. The vast size of the universe shows how big and glorious God is. The size of the planets and the stars, all of this demonstrate the glory of God. And also we see God's creativity. He's he's got all of this incredible variation, you know, in the ocean and on the earth. It's amazing how creative God is when you look at all of the peoples in the world. And if you look at all of creation and the mountains and the trees, it's beautiful. And you see God's creativity and his beauty then. Every human can attest to the beauty of creation sunsets and waterfalls, rainbows, all of this points to the beauty of the one who created them. The beauty found in human art also points us to the one who created beauty. And we also see in creation God's goodness. The goodness, that means that he shows that he allows the rain to fall on humans who are good and humans who are bad. We see that he gives us good things reflected in human efforts to do to bring justice to society. We see the goodness of God in the inherent understanding of right and wrong, which is in every single one of us. It's just built into all of us. And so we see God's goodness in creation. And finally, we see God's love in creation. We see his love in the way that parents, both human and animal parents, instinctively look after the young. We see it in the way that creation provides for the needs of all living creatures. We can learn much about God by just going outside and seeing his creation.